I have been tagged. What's up, family? I'm Russell Mack, and um, welcome to Solomon's Vineyard, and I have been tagged by my brother and friend, Jason, over at Masked Man Reviews. And this video is called The Magnificent Seven. Ah, fragrances that I reach for a whole lot. And I got seven for you, so stick around, and I'll be right back with the video. Won't be long. Let's go, y'all. Peace. Welcome back, family. I'm glad you decided to stop and check out this tag video. Uh, I want to take out of uh, time out of my samples and do this tag for my brother Jason over in Mass Man Reviews. If you have not checked out his fragrance content, go check him out. He's a great previewer, a great down to earth gentleman, that is. Uh, he has a bunch of fragrances, a lot of fragrance knowledge, uh, and his, he has different content, and I love that. That's what I love about his channel the most. So go check him out and give him a sub. I guarantee you, you'll like it. And the first time you meet him and see it, you will like his content. So don't forget to do that. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, and you stumbled on Solomon's Vineyard, there's no, there was no accident. You was meant uh, to tap on this video. Why don't you go and subscribe? Do that for your boy. Uh, go ahead and hit that notification bell so they can send all of the fragrance content and all of the fragrance news and fragrance talking uh, from my channel to your feed all right letting you know i'm on the air okay thumbs up the video for your boy do that all right you can share it to let someone else know about me and feel free to comment down in the comment thread below all right let's get into this preview i'm almost through already y'all we're gonna start uh, with seven fragrances. This time I don't have any honorable mentions and these are fragrances, seven fragrances that I reach for a lot and uh, I do wear these fragrances y'all and they really have been getting me a lot of attention, some great first impressions when I meet people. Um, I've been doing a lot of going so I've been having a chance to wear my fragrances and the very first fragrance I want to talk to you about is one that I don't hear much talk about. I don't know why this stuff is absolutely beautiful. It opens up with some uh, citrus accords, that's bergamot, but it dries down into a beautiful ambery base. It puts me in the mind of Dior own. I'm telling you the truth. This is a slept on fragrance. You need to get, if you don't have it, get your hands on this one. This is Azaro Pure by uh, Chrome Azaro Pure. By Zorro. Not gonna take much time with it, but if you see it, get it. I'm telling you, you will love the smell of this fragrance. And it's long lasting. For some reason, this fragrance just I'm sorry guys. It reminds Perfect. me of Prada Long. I apologize for that. Especially Beautiful, ambery, powdery Great fragrance. Get your Great hands on it. For, Thanks. Uh, dinners, uh, dinners out at night, walking on, along the levee, a nice walk. Uh, on the trails, this would really, really, really be a pleasant fragrance to wear. I'm telling you now, this could possibly be uh, the next day night king. Yes, I said it. It smells good. Just that good, I'm telling you. Get your hands on it, all right? Chrome Azaro Pure. And I'm sitting on my bed, guys. This is where I hang out at all the time, on my bed. So if you see any mess, just look over it, all right? Next fragrance is one I previewed shortly and this is my lamborghini and this is millennial listen i have been rocking this one and i have been letting talia rock this one this is a gorgeous fragrance and it's cheap opens up with a nice grapefruit and citrus for, uh, note um, it dries down with rhubarb and some woody uh, and vetiver uh, nuances incredible really really quality fragrance shock me and I'm telling you now, it's good. Get your hands on it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Lamborghini Millennial. Okay? Uh, let's move on. Next fragrance. This is in no certain order. And this is a fragrance that I will preview soon. 
This bad boy here needs to be hyped up too. This is by Zigna, and this is Zigna, a Womo by Zigna. Man, listen, the price that went up on Fragrance X, I saw it on there for like 50 something dollars. I found it though, check this out, $14 in the rack store. I don't think I'll find it for that price anymore. Zigna Womo Man opens up, it's got uh, citrus, violet leaf, violet leaf, um, and uh, I think it has some woody notes in the, in the base. Incredible. It opens up fruity, and it, that, that fruitiness lingers around for about 30 minutes, but then all of a sudden the violet kicks in, and I believe there's some sage in here, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. It has some uh, some herbaceousness in this fragrance. Uh, earthy, real sexy. It smells like a spring evening or summer day. This is one I'll be previewing soon. I need to preview this because I don't know what's up with Fragcom. Not talking about this fragrance, man. Uh, I understand there are a lot of new release, okay? But 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 don't forget about the fragrances that have uh, been around and and they are staples. I feel and uh, your collection and I, I pulled this one out and I've been wearing this the last few days along with the other stuff I've been rocking. Don't sleep on this fragrance y'all. Zigna Womo by Urban Gilda Zigna. Alright. Let me see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, and wow, this thing still gets compliments. I love this woody aquatic fragrance. It's all kind of oceanic, but it's spicy, sweet. And it's something about this DNA that women just can't resist. That lotus note. Mm. Wow, y'all. Listen, compliments, compliments, compliments. I can't say it enough. Now, I understand that, that, that these fragrances are subjective, but if you can get used to this, trust me, women, they just, I don't know, it's something about this it, it, that it draws. Now, don't wear it in, in, in the, in, in, when it's too hot. Now, you don't wanna, uh, want it to be cloying, okay? But, but I guarantee you, on a nice spring evening, uh, like, like today, like, like tonight, man, listen, telling you beautiful outstanding and it's been around for a long time and it's it's got a lot of flankers but you can't go wrong with this one Issey Miyake poured on by Issey Miyake all right Lady Leo you know y'all know I can't say the word that good but <laughs> but it's, it is Issey Miyake the, the original all right uh let's see well, let's talk about scent of the day, or scent of the night. My scent tonight, after I got in and got cleaned up, this is the new Gucci Guilty Parfum. And this fragrance here, not being talked about. People sleeping on this one too. But I don't know why, because it's good. It has a beautiful, beautiful rose accord in it, and in the very top, and then it goes into that Gucci, to the original Gucci Guilty smell. But it's something that the rose does to this fragrance, man, that just makes it incredible, intoxicating. It's dark, deep, sensual, real sexy. My girl loves this. And every other female that I uh, allow to smell it loves it. When the, the rep sprayed it in the store, people gathered all around to, to find out what was that smell. Uh, and ladies, the Gucci Guilty ladies perfume is just as good as the men. So, if you get a chance, get you a sample or get your nose on this bad boy right here. 2020 release. Gucci Guilty Parfum. All right? We're just about done, guys. This fragrance, I brought it to you in a first impression video. And I have been wearing this one, uh, especially in the meetings that I've been having. And first, first time meeting uh, different people that I've been dealing with. And this is Musky Oud by Rihanna, a Middle Eastern brand. And listen, if you get a chance to get your hands on this fragrance or get a, a sample of it, do so. I don't even know if Oud is in this, but if, it, if it's not in here and I'm smelling it, 
then they did a lovely job with blending this fragrance. It puts you, if you need to know what it smells like, uh, it's 12, you guys. I'm sorry about my clock, but you know it talks to me. Listen, <clears throat> this fragrance here smells similar to Mason Francis Kirkjohn, Oud Satin Mood. Only it's fruitier. Um, it has uh, a, some saffron in it that gives it some, some smokiness. Um, the tobacco, oh my God. It's earthy, it has an earthy quality to it. Oh man, just smelling it from the atomizer. This stuff is sexy, y'all. Musky Oud by Rihanna, all right? We got one left, guys. Here it is. Woo! My, 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 my. Out of all the ones on the list, this is one of my faves. This is Armani Code 2021. Hadn't been hearing much talk about it, but I think once it hits the stores here, uh, in fact, I think it's already here. I think I saw it over at Alta Beauty. I'm not sure, but I think it was it. Man, hear me. You need to get this. Armani Code Parfum. It takes you back to the original scent, but it's deeper in the base. But at the top, it has a lavender note with some citrus accords. This stuff is the bomb. Who, Lord have mercy. I could talk about this all night. Uh, Armani Cold Parfum. You need to get your hands on this fragrance, man. Good God Almighty. Listen, talk of me. You get it in this fragrance. But my favorite note is that lavender and then the tonka and then the, the sensualness. It still has the seductive quality. It still has that, that, that intoxicating scent trail and intoxicating scent cloud. But I, I don't know what to say about it, y'all. Black gold top. Get your hands on it. Now, I love the Absolute. Oh, but when they came out with this one, I had to get my hands on it, and it is incredible. So that's my seven. Armani Cold Parfum. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, you got my seven. You see I'm holding musky oud in my hand because it's, it's, it's real good. Uh, <clears throat> but let me tag a few people, that I, and I'm, I'm finished, guys. So I want to hit up uh, uh, Marshall's Blend Fragrances, Totally Off Topic Reviews. Uh, I'll hit up my boy Tyler over at Simply Fragrances because I love his list also. Uh, I will hit up JP if he gets the, the video, get a chance to see this video and uh, he wants to participate. JP, you are tagged. Uh, Trey Scent, you tagged my brother because I, Trey Scent, been getting some good fragrances, y'all. Listen, go check Trey out because this dude been getting some great hauls, having some great haul videos. And I know he would have a great, magnificent seven, all right? So that's about it, guys. It, 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 listen, I'm, I'm going to open the tag up. And if you want to do it, feel free. If you don't, I understand. No no, no love lost. Still love you just as hard and just the same. And if anybody name I call, if you can't tag, can't do the tag, I understand. It's all good. You know what? One more. Fat boy. Fat boy. One. Hey, bro, I know his would be good, too. Do this magnificent seven tag, all right? So, guys, I'm about to go finish hanging out with the fam. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Check out this video. Give me a good like and a comment if you can, all right? I love you all. Take care. Peace, fam. All right.